Yo, what's up, YouTube? Leo Shang here, host of the Extreme Philip Fishing Channel. Man, I just took a little break, just had some lunch, but I don't know, I'm still very, very tired. These last few days down in Florida, it has been the grind. If you have watched all episodes and you are watching this right now, I commend you, my friend. You are a true EPF fan. If you can withstand the cringiness of the What's Up YouTube every video, I commend you, my friend. You are a true EPF fan. So this is going to be the last episode of the Florida series. It is my last day afternoon. This is it, folks. This is gotta be it. We are currently at 44 or 45 different species of fish. And in the morning, I focus a little bit more on live lining for the bigger fish around the area. In the afternoon, I'm switching from the Valley and Eagle to the Central 500. I got with me here the Casking Ultralight setup, right? The Calamus rod. And guess what? In the morning, we use live shiners. In the afternoon, we're going with one of my best friends, right? The good old Nightcrawler. I gotta throw this around, man. I got some cut bait with me too. We gotta go for whatever bites. The grind is real. I'll try my best to break 50, you know, different species here, which averages 10 new species every day. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't happen, well, at least I gave it a try, right? So let me get everything set up here and let's get the fishing started. Get it, boy! Yes, I just wanted to catch one of these. I caught this one actually in the previous video, right? The African jewel cichlid. But I never really got to show you guys how this fish is inside the photo tank. So I'm gonna put it in the photo tank! Please don't get away like this fish, so you guys can take a good look at it. For those who don't know, this little fish right here, okay, the African jewel cichlid, was actually introduced back in the days in Florida because of the fish tank trade, okay? The fish tank fellas, they just didn't know how to control themselves, and they started pouring all those invasive species of fish in the wild, right? And then what happened? They started to reproduce in the wild. And I mean, who comes down here to Florida to do some micro fishing other than EPF and a few other life listers, right? Nobody. So this fish got out of control. Very, very aggressive species of fish. Very beautiful, you know? The ones that are out here in the wild, well, some of them are, were really released, right? Because the owners didn't really deem them to be as beautiful as they wanted to but anyways i just wanted to show you guys this little fella a side curiosity for those who watch epf a lot of the species down here in florida were introduced you know by human beings and i mean that's why i always tell kids on the youtube channel too right never ever throw your pets in the water okay or in your local water sheds that is no good they reproduce and then later they become invasive like this guy okay there it goes. And by the way, right, the only reason I'm releasing these fellas here is because they already have an established population in this watershed, which by the way is an open body of water. But that doesn't mean, right, what I'm trying to say is prevention is still key. Don't let other species in the future, invasive species, go out there in the wild. There we go, there we go. It was in the mouth though. It did fall, it did fall, but it was in the mouth. And this is another species for our Florida slam. Yes, this one was not snagged. It was caught on hook and line. It's going to the photo tank. I really don't like catching these guys because you know, they are just like everywhere, right? This one's chilling on top of the water. Can barely see him from that angle. 
This is an Eastern mosquito fish. If you guys didn't know about it already, okay? I catch mosquito fish everywhere. The Gambusia Holbrooki, right? And that's why I don't like to catch them. But like I said, when you are doing a Florida a species lamb, there's just no way you're not gonna add this little fella to your list, right? So this is the only one that I want to catch today. This is the only one that I am going to release. I do not want to see this species come back today again, okay? Look at that. Ah, go, go, go. <laughs> okay, we added it. Hey, there's something a little bit different here. I don't know what it is. So I'm just gonna let my night crawler sink and see if the fish actually gets it or not. It's looking at it, it's looking at it. You got it. You got it! Oh, it's a bloogie. <laughs> oh, and it was something a little bit different. I was like, man, maybe it is a new species. Now it's just a bluegill. Look at that, huh? Even in a canal like this, we got a few bluegill here and there. Yeah, we already got the species for the Florida slam, right? So you know what? I'm just gonna release this guy over here. Say bye bye. What is this? Oh my goodness. I was trying to catch the other species down there, the one that I don't have yet. And then Mr. Greenfish had to come to intercept the bait, huh? Uh, Mr. Greenfish and I'm trying to get a spotted tilapia folks the spotted tilapia are spawning right now so they have nests down there I'm casting this night crawler right inside the nest to see if the tilapia is actually going to get it or not so far it didn't but I'm sure that if I make it annoyed enough it is going to come after the night crawler and I will be able to add another species to my list Defending. It's interesting how the bigger one is the one defending the nest. Got him, got him, got him, got him. On four pound test, on four pound test, and a piece of night crawler. Come up here. Yeah. See? Told you guys, man. Told you guys I was going to be able to get it. When they're spawning, son, the spotted tilapia got nothing on EPF. Yeah, look at that, beautiful, a spotted tilapia. I guess you guys understand why is it that this is called a spotted tilapia, right? It's got the spots here on the side of its body. It's got a beautiful red coloration too. All right, I'm about to release this guy so he can go back to his nesting job together with his wife who is there protecting the nest okay go back where you belong you can go back to protecting your youth although that is another invasive species down here in Florida oh my goodness folks I just saw something really exotic down here there's only one there's only one so I have to be very careful I don't know where it, I don't know where it went now Oh, it's right there. It is with the school of mosquito fish. I need, I need it to swim closer to me so I can feed him a little piece of night crawler. Oh, right here, right here, right here, right here. Orange head, orange head, orange head. No, there's only one of the orange head down there. Ay, 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 African jewelcyclid, huh? It's real tough, folks, when there's only one of a kind and you are microfishing and there's gazillions of other predatory species who will go after your stuff. That's it, that's it. I give up. I give up. Ah, that orange head fish, which is right here. You guys see it right here? Where, this, this is the orange head fish. This, this is it this is it you see that but it doesn't bite on anything i think it eats vegetation see it's only one of a kind one of a kind this fish right here one of a kind but it doesn't eat anything i think it only eats vegetation i don't know i don't know i really don't know i caught the entire ecosystem right here 
and I haven't caught that fella. So look, I got, dude, for real, I got the entire ecosystem right here. I got three mosquito fish, a Mayan cichlid, and a jewel fish all together in one little fish tank, okay? But I didn't catch that fish. Look at that, one happy family right here. But I haven't, catch, I haven't caught that fish, I give up, man. I spent about 50 minutes trying to get a fish, you know, pretty persistent because that would be a new species for me, right? I never caught that one before. This is crazy, man. This is crazy, crazy. Folks, it has been a real pleasure shooting these Florida videos for you guys. But everything that is good must come to an end, yeah? This is the end of my five days fishing trip down here in Florida if you have watched the series from beginning to end you saw that we caught I mean I caught right but you guys were along with me on this journey 47 different species of fish in five days of fishing okay we were very close to 50 close but no cigar I'm sure that I you know, I'm sure I could have done better, <laughs> but it is what it is. 47 is the final number. I am definitely not disappointed. These last five days have been phenomenal when it comes to multi-species fishing, right? I may have emphasized this in one of my previous videos, but being a live lister, it is not so much about the sizes of the fishes, right? A live lister, a life lister's worth is really defined by how many species he or she can catch, right? And in order to do that, you must go out of your comfort zone all the time. You must have an open mind. These videos that you guys watched for the past few days, right? The Florida trip, you guys saw it. I went to all different types of environments. I fished for different types of fish using different rigs, different baits and different techniques, right? You can't just go to one place and expect to, you know, to catch new things all the time. You gotta go out there and you gotta explore and you gotta get out of your comfort zone in order to do it. So there you have it. Thank you very much for joining me on this journey. I would like to give a big shout out to my fellow Patreonites, okay? I have a Patreon account. And this Florida trip was partially sponsored using the money from Patreon. You folks know that, you know, YouTube nowadays is not real good. It's not going very good for me, right? So the Patreon each month really, really helps when it comes to these fishing trips, all right? 47 different species, and I finished with five new species for my species list, right? Uh, what did I catch? I don't even remember now. I think I landed a hard, the hardhead catfish, that was one of them. And then there was also, ooh, the very rare slipper, okay? That was a large, scaled, spiny cheek slipper. There you have it, an Atlantic needlefish. I had the houndfish before, the Tilosurus crocodilus, right? I never really landed an Atlantic needlefish. So that was a, that was a big surprise. And there, is, there are two more that I can't quite remember. Oh yeah, the ladyfish, right? Finally added the ladyfish to my species list. Every time I come down here to Florida, I see people catching the ladyfish. I, I'm just never able to do it. This time, finally, you know, I landed a ladyfish. And the last one was a very unexpected one. It was the sand drum. At the beginning, I thought it was a striped croaker. But then I looked at the mouth and the shape of the nose and it had a little barbel right under the mouth. I was like, this ain't no croaker, right? Man, it turned out to be a sand drum. Now let me tell you, uh, this is something I didn't really mention on my YouTube videos, that a second time when I went down to the Hillsboro Inlet to shoot videos, I really wanted to catch one more of those just to get a, uh, get a better shot, you know, confirm the species. That second day that I went to the Hillsboro Inlet, they were not there anymore. Can you believe it? The first day, two days difference. The first day, the place was loaded with them. And then the water got dirty and they just left. It is truly unbelievable. This is to show that sometimes 
when it comes to species hunt, you know, it is all about the timing, right? But all right, folks, this is it. I hope you guys enjoyed the series of videos. Next video on the channel, I'm gonna be back in Philadelphia, right? And uh, I hope you guys are excited because after this Florida trip, right, the California trip is actually coming up soon, San Diego, and I have absolutely zero saltwater species from the West Coast. So hopefully that is going to add a lot of the species to my list, okay? Thank you very much for watching as always. Thank you very much for all the love and support. It is thanks to you guys, right? You guys and girls that I am able to do this, you know, part-time for a living, right? So the reason that I was able to bring all these videos, shoot all these videos and show you all these species, it is all because of you in the end, okay? Thank you very much. I will see you all next time, tie lines and take it easy. Dude, what the heck? Yo, this is the first time I've seen these things. I mean, we definitely don't use these on the East Coast. A little bit grizzly, yeah, but look at that, man. This is actually pretty neat. A ghost shrimp. Well, I tell you what, think better work real good. <laughs>